Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorial Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Uh, today we are covering the Max Rate Calculator mod, and this is actually made by someone in our own community, uh, the Anderblast. And he showed this off in my Discord, and I thought it was really, really cool, so I decided I would spotlight it this week. And uh, it's kind of like Hell Mod, except uh, on a kind of more of a per machine basis. Uh, what this does is it allows you to select a machine or multiple machines and uh, it'll tell you the max amount, hence the name max rate, the max uh, amount of input and output per second and per minute. And it also does take into account beacons and productivity modules. Uh, now, of course, uh, when I say max amount, this is considering... Uh, you know, if it's fully fed and can fully output. So do keep that in mind that these numbers are based on the fact that the machine can operate 100% all the time. Uh, but it's really, really cool. So what you do is I have several setups here to demonstrate different different uses for it, different types of things you can use it on. Um, so first off, I'm gonna power this gear machine on and we have no production. So I'm gonna power him on, he's gonna go, he's working 100%, we can see with the bottleneck mod here, and uh, if I hit, by default, the hotkey is control in. If I hit control in, I get this little guy here. And you can either click on one machine or click and hold drag, um, like a selection box to select multiple machines. So if we click him, we get this window up here and uh, this will tell you the input amount per second and what it is and per minute and, or per second per minute, I don't know if I said minute twice. And then outputs, what it's outputting per second and per minute. Um, and we'll see here, I'll let this run for about a minute um, and we'll see that this matches exactly the production graph. So it is extremely accurate, again, considering the machine can work fully, uh, you know, because obviously it can't take into account, you know, inserter speed as well, or, you know, if the belt's full or not, you know, it doesn't know that stuff. But anyway, um, so this says we're gonna get 150 gears per minute um, from 300 iron per minute. And it first is through me, but do keep in mind that um do keep in mind that gears do take two iron per process so this is correct right if you put in 300 iron you're going to get out half that amount in gears because it takes two iron um and it doesn't tell you all the raw materials you can notice it doesn't tell you the ore or anything but that's okay because mostly you would kind of just want to know the main material in most cases um, but if we hit production here you can see this says about 2.5 a second um now, this is a five second graph. If we take 12 dividing by five, it would be uh, theoretically about 2.5. Uh, but you can see even here, this says like 152 a minute. It's fluctuating, um, but the minute graph is actually steady. So here you go, 150 a minute on the dot, just like the mod said. Um, so this is really nice. Same with 300 a minute. Obviously, that makes sense. So that's really nice. Um, we're gonna turn this guy off. And then to demonstrate, it does work on furnaces. Now on the mod portal, it is a little deceiving because he says that like version 01, which I guess is no longer accurate because he's released like three versions already. But um, he said it didn't work on furnaces, but it does actually work on furnaces. Um, so we're going to power him on. And again, I just hit control in, click him, and it will give me, uh, you know, this amount of ore per minute and this amount of plate out per minute. Makes sense, you know, one ore equals one plate. So these will be identical. Um, and of course it does take into account the crafting speed of the thing as well. And, uh, again, if we were to wait about a minute and look, this would match, um, you know, the gears obviously are kind of interfering, but this would eventually match. You can see it's going up cause it obviously hasn't been a full minute. Um, but this would eventually match, uh, how much this guy is predicting. It also works on... Uh, chemical plants, refineries, and beacon things. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do these guys. Now, it shouldn't interfere with this because we're not actually producing iron from this. Uh, so we can kind of keep this going and keep an eye on it. But it should slowly creep up to 34.3. Um, so this one, we're going to turn on. And you don't actually have to turn it on. I'm just turning it on to demonstrate matching it, but you don't have to. So if you hit Control in again, and again, um, a select, like a selection box, so just click and drag. Um, and get the machines and he will tell you uh, it's going to consume X amount you know 3.3 thousand iron a minute 9.9 uh, thousand .9 cable a minute and it's going to give you 4,620 circuits per minute 
And again, this is taking into account productivity in the machines as well as the speed beacon. So if we turn him on, uh, he will go. And again, I just feel like it is important to mention, uh, you know, that this does consider that the machines can run fully, right? So if you aren't inserting enough and your numbers don't match, that's probably why if your machines can't output fully or can't input fully or lacking resources, you know, obviously the numbers won't match. Um, but if we check again on our iron, you can see here 34.2 and uh, that's about it. Now it does obviously override the previous window, but you can easily just, uh, just click it again. Um, now to close this, I noticed that if you click like one of these, it closes it. So that's pretty handy. We'll let him run uh, again just to demonstrate. Uh, we'll do this guy, and it, so it does work. You know, plastic. This is how much we're gonna get: 150 a minute um, from 75 coal a minute. Again, because you get two plastic from one coal, and uh, it also gives you the petroleum. And then this one, uh, we will go here, and I'm just gonna select these four for right now. So it does work with fluids as well. You know, we input 40 water and 80 oil and we get you know 480 light 2160 or heavy and then light and then 2640 petroleum from all this and just to demonstrate that it does take uh, into account productivity modules if i select just one of these you'll notice that we get we input 10 water and 20 oil and then we get out you know 125 40 and 660 if i do it over this one with the productivities in it um, these numbers will change. We get less out because the machine's slower, right? It slows it down by uh, 45%. Uh, but you'll notice that our inputs are less as well, um, almost half, not quite half, uh, because we only have 30% um, productivity. But it does take that into account. You can close those. And uh, yeah, there you go. So, you know, this guy, I guess it was off by like 0.1. Um, <laughs> But uh, this one is pretty much accurate. 4.6 is said 4,620. Um, you know, this doesn't quite round fully. You know, we, we don't know if there's an extra 20 on there. There probably is. So, I mean, we can look here. This is a five second amount. But there you go, guys. That's the mod. It's really, really nice for taking into account, like, uh, you know, your m machines you've already built it, kind of on a per machine or per process basis. You know, so if I'm just like, well, I want. 5,000 circuits a minute and I've placed down, you know, an X amount of machines. I'm like, well, you know, are these going to do it or not? And I can just take the tool and can just select them and be like, oh, okay, well, these would give me this amount. So I need this many or I need to take away this many. Um, Cause then, you know, you could just select on a per one basis and just be like, oh, okay, well, each one's going to give me this much so I could subtract or add so on and so forth. Really, really helpful mod. It seems really nice. He does seem to be updating it quite often. And lastly, centrifuges um, for the uranium processing. Um, this one, he says, it uh, for the centrifuges, for the uranium ore, it approximates the output based on the probability and quantity range of results. So, you know, because there is like the slight chance of getting the, uh, the 235. Um, so, you know, for two of these guys, it's going to eat up 90 a minute. It's going to output 8.9 and 0.1 of this. So, again, centrifuges... You know, it obviously changes because there's a percent chance, not a solid uh, number every time. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check it out. If you're interested, link in the description. As always, very, very nice mod. I may start using it myself. It would help quite a lot in many cases. Um, if you have any questions or anything down in the comments, uh, do let me know. And uh, if you did enjoy and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.